Janie. Janie, Janie, Janie. Hey. Janie. Hi, Janie. Hi. Janie Slash and I welcome you to the Corpse Paint Show, encouraging people to think for themselves since 2016. I'm very proud of that, Janie Slash. And uh, let me just say to viewers and listeners, if you've got a question for Johnny Blitz, you might just hit us up on the chat room. Janie Slash is monitoring chat room. I am both in the Top Block TV chat room area and the Corpse Paint Show chat room on so let's bring on i'm honored to have someone who has made some time for us thank you so much johnny blitz from the legendary dead boys yeah pleasure to be here my friend man it's so great to talk to you and you know we were kind of chatting a little bit earlier and you know i've just uh, i've got i could share so many stories with you and just have so many questions but we're going to try and just stay professional or semi-professional <laughs> Today. Oh, God. Count uh, me out. Yeah, really. I guess I will. Count me out, definitely. When have we ever been? <laughs> the wrong cat, man. I know. Uh, maybe so. Hey, so I'm holding up, and this is in my hand, Johnny, is Dead Boys uh, Still Snotty, Young, and Loud at 40. And, um, you know, I guess I just wanted to say or ask this album has taken a life of its own, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess I had no choice. We're kind of out there fucking, you know, selling it. So, yeah, sooner or later, somebody was going to catch on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Me personally, I still prefer the first one as yeah, is the other one else. But, yeah. Uh, whatever. It's a different twist on it. It, it is a different twist. And um, I, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, the original Young Loud and Snotty, uh, I don't know. I just think that that album lives on. It, you know, it's rebooted now. There's, you know, there was the snottier version. And, uh, you know, the, the liner notes say this is kind of how you wanted it with only nine tracks, right? No, it wasn't how I wanted it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's how, you know, hey. uh, that's a whole other story, a whole other day. But no, no, we went in and redid it. And it is, you know, that's what you got. If you like it, great. If you don't, Fuck off. Yeah, if you, you know don't. I mean? if you That's don't, the way I feel about exactly. it. If you don't, it ain't for you. Right? It ain't for you. That's it. Look, is it just me or is caught with the meat in your mouth a little bit more rockabilly on the new version? Definitely, 100%. Uh, I attribute that to uh, probably Mr. Kotwitz, the uh, rhythm guitar player. He had a lot of influence on that. So, yeah, give it to him. I'm sorry, on uh, with who? Uh, Kowitz, Jason. Oh, okay. All right, all right, gotcha. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. That what, was that was his spin on it. It's nice. I like it. Every, oh, I like it too. I yeah, like it too. It, you've got kind of a shuffle beat there, and uh, you know, I found that That's very, my style, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Johnny Blitz gets enough credit for establishing the American punk sound. This is how I feel. Uh, Johnny, I've I, never. I've never gotten any credit for what I do, so it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not, I don't do this to look for credit. I do it because I love to play. Yeah. That's why I do what I do. Good. Hey, look. So I'm not looking for any of that kind of shit. All right. We did have a question. The first question was from Scott Paulson of uh, Chop Block TV. Shout out to Chop Block oh. TV. Um, and he was asking if... Can we talk for a minute about the CBGB movie with uh, Alan Rickman? Sure, why not? The, you know, in the in the movie, when the van tips over on the on the freeway, his question was, "Did that really happen?" Oh yeah, it did. It did. Um, and, you know what? Ninety nine percent of the stuff you saw about us in that movie was probably pretty accurate. Uh, Cheetah was a uh, an advisor on that movie, so he he, he got the uh, he, he got a lot of it right. Uh, the only thing I have a question with is the, the whole stabbing sequence. Uh, that that was all wrong, but I had no say on it. it. Okay, so is it because you got stabbed up higher in the body rather than lower in the body? And, and no, 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 no. It got nothing to do with where I got stabbed. I got stabbed. I got stabbed. Right, but. Uh, I wasn't looking for a fight. The fight came to me, and in the movie, they made it look like I was looking for a fight. Okay. That's not how it happened at all. 
because in the early days of punk in Brit in Britain and here, it, you uh, punk bands were seen as scary, as frightening, as uh, dangerous, and and so people freak out, wouldn't they? <laughs> Well, people's observations of that stuff were totally wrong. I mean, yeah. we were just playing music. That's all we were doing. I mean, people make their own observations, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, dressed a little weird, but I was, I've was i been dressing that way since I was 15 years old. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I was, I was telling someone this today, that uh, it was you and Cheetah that founded the band. Um, That's right. And... Yeah, it, it it was no one else. It was you guys. You guys are are the foundation right. of that band. It, oh, absolutely, absolutely. We uh, played the Rockets and the Chimneys prior to that. Yep. Um, and prior to that, we had our own little band going on in my parents' basement, which uh, those are the grassroots of of the Dead Boys, and not so much Rockets because. Uh, <clears throat> Rockets had their own, you know, uh, Dave Thomas and Peter Lochner, they had their own vision. So we were just going along for a ride. But we were just kids. We were just learning how to play, learning how to, uh, uh, you know, just, just learning how to play at that point. But uh, we all, we knew all along what we wanted. The Dead Boys were our band. And we, we got what we wanted. Good or bad, we got what you know, be, be careful what you wish for because we definitely found it. <laughs> now, um, okay, so so back to that scene. Now, when the van or truck flipped over, look, everybody was all right? Yeah, yeah there was no problem. You know, the bigger problem was in Atlanta, Georgia, when uh, me and Bader's decided to take, the, take one of the Winnebago's out for a ride, mm -hmm. We drove through uh, the University of Atlanta and decided to drive. We were doing about 80 miles an hour under a, there was a pedestrian bridge and we thought we could clear it, but obviously we couldn't clear it. Oh. And we skinned the whole top off, <laughs> off the window. <laughs> Boy, that was a hard, I want to say, I had to be the guy that had to take that Winnebago back to the rental place. Right. That must have been a, you got a lot of explaining to do there, man. <laughs> Uh, so that was even <laughs> that was even a worse incident. I got you. Hey Johnny, mm. um, so we're we're gonna check the chat room, and uh, you know we're inviting people if they got some solid questions. Of sure, Trump. sure, sure. Bring it on. Um, but but look, here's one. Look, um, I heard a rumor from a guy who heard a rumor from a guy who heard oh, okay, something else. Lord. Yeah, yeah that uh, that uh, that that you might be working on some new material. Oh no! Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we 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 pretty much have the new album uh, just about ready to go, writing wise. Cool. It's just a matter of uh, getting everybody together and doing it. So, so the, which you, is not it doesn't sound like a big deal, but for us, it's a clusterfuck, man. <laughs> it's just so unorganized; it's unbelievable. Well, okay. But it will happen. It'll happen this year. And, and that's with the new, the new, the new squad, the new guys. The, the new people, yes. Yeah, great. Will you be playing any of those songs at Punk Rock Bowling? Uh, no. Chance of that? Oh, okay, no. Cool. We're so, just going to do what we do. Yeah. Awesome. We're not busting out any new material until we record it. Gotcha. All right, all right. So, so, that's why I'm so I just want to tell our audience, you heard it here first. New Dead Boys. I, I am super thrilled about this, Johnny. <laughs> a, a, any other secrets you can tell us about that? Uh, as far as recording goes, it's what now? Uh, the new album? Yeah. Is that what yeah. you're talking about? The yes. new album? Yes. Um, no, it's just a matter of time. That's the record company getting it, getting it together, right? Okay. Now, getting them to move and getting us to move. Um, I've got a, I've got a silly question. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll permit it. Um, Go on. The other CD I'm holding in my hand is, of course, uh, We Have Come For Your Children. So I guess I was just curious if, uh, you know, the new guys... And, my and, favorite album, by and, the way. And you know what? Mine, too. This get, this is under. Oh, good. I'm so glad you like it. God, I love that one. I, I do, too. I think it really is my favorite. And uh, don't want to be no Catholic boy, flamethrower love. I mean, this is just <laughs> something I played the shit out of for a long time, Johnny. And look, I guess oh, my, I guess my question is... I'm glad is, you like it. 
Does this one get a reboot too? I hope that's not a silly question. I I don't I don't know. That's that's a good, I, I I really don't know. With it, you know, with us, if we go into the studio and do the new album, that probably puts puts the calabash on the on the uh, we all come for your children shit. But mm-hmm. I'll tell you, Felix. Me personally, I think Felix did a tremendous job. Uh, my drums sound fucking amazing, so I have no complaints about that. Good. That's good news. All right. Hey, guess what? Uh, we were in a new record store yesterday, and this is now a partner of our show. So I'm going to take a moment here, Johnny, and talk about 14 Records in Dallas, Texas. Now, okay. uh, this is yeah. So we got a great we got a great uh, logo for 14. They're on Garland Road. No sound left behind. There's the phone number. They're open late on Friday and Saturday nights. Go in there and see That's Bucks. That's important. Yes, indeed. And they carry a great ton of vinyl and CDs and and, and uh, cassette tapes are making a comeback, too. So shout out, shout out to 14 Records, and we encourage people to go check them out if they've, you're in Dallas. They've got a really amazing punk selection. They really do. They do. Good punk selection. I was and, going through yesterday. And... And I was able to find a couple of uh, gems that I picked up myself uh, there. But anyways, 14 Records. And Johnny, whenever you're in Dallas, we will take you there, my friend. Oh, my wife's in Texas, so I'm in, I'm in Dallas a lot. Okay. you had, Yeah, you had mentioned that before. Is she, um, is she a, a native Texan? Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah. Like fifth generation, man. Well, see, you've She's got it. Core. Johnny Blitz has a connection to our state. Fucking A. <laughs> um, look, I'm glad that you said about 99% of that docu- or that movie, CBGB's, was accurate about you guys. That, that's cool. There's a, there's a lot of documentaries about CBGB's, and, you know, I, I kind of got the impression that some of them were not that accurate. Um, but there's just a lot out there of the original scene, you know, in terms of... De- yeah, yeah, right semi-documentaries and, and that sort of thing, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about that specific movie. I'm not talking about any other documentary, right? And, uh... I don't know. It, it's... It, for me, it was hard to watch because I was watching my childhood, right? It's basically yeah. what it was, so it was weird. Yeah, and and, uh, and then Jamie Slash points out to me that, um, you know, what two, two of the main actors in the movie are from, uh, from Harry Potter. <laughs> from, from yeah, that, that, that's exactly right. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was totally weird. Um, yeah, Cheetah was on 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 uh, site the whole time, right? When they were filming it. Yeah. <laughs> he just said it was just totally bizarre. Right? Yeah. Watching somebody film your life, basically. I mean, it, listen, that movie wasn't all about the Dead Boys. It, there were other bands right. involved, obviously. But Jesus, man, Hilly. Give it a break. Hilly, I mean, look, so was CBGB's a crappy a club as it looked in that film? I think we have a picture of a Probably crappier. <laughs> no, it was crappier. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, dog shit. And, and we have a picture. Oh, it was of- awful. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, here we have this, these dogs. Uh, Jonathan was the main dog, right? right. And they were poop everywhere. <laughs> so in the morning... <laughs> You'd have to tip them through the tulips, as it were. Yeah. And so we're... Yeah, we're it was sh- nasty. We're showing a picture right now of one of the CBGB bathrooms. Um, and, you know, that, that I think I heard about the bathrooms before I heard much about the club when I first started learning about CBGB. So uh, mm-hmm. I, was it as bad as, I, uh, as I'm, think- I'm thinking? Yeah, it was pretty rough. Well, we were pretty rough, too. I mean, look... Um, we went there, and I think we got like I don't know, hundred bucks a week to live on, and we were living in some shithole apartment. So the only way we could eat on a hundred bucks a week is Hillary used to uh, he had a kitchen, yeah. So he used to get like uh, I don't know twenty pounds of ground meat. So we would go in and steal the ground meat whenever we could, take it home in a garbage bag, and we would eat for a week. We would have hamburgers up the ass, right? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> and and uh, in one of the in one of the documentaries I saw, and do you, you always have used a double double bass, right? 
Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And, now and, I use a double. I use a double paddle, though. I mean, yeah. let's be serious. Why carry two bass drums? We only need one. Gotcha. Okay. Same effect, right? You bet. You bet. Um, but it looked badass, right. and uh, and then and then there you are, of course, knocking over. How often do you damage your drum set? I guess is what I'm asking in the in the in the early tour. Well, not anymore. I can't afford it. <laughs> it gets pretty pricey. Right. <laughs> and you're only making a hundred a week. Yeah, well, this is, well, at that point, I didn't give a shit, right? Yeah. Because I knew sooner or later somebody would have to buy me new stuff, right? So let it rip. So, so the scene where there's all of a sudden a pile of money in front of you guys happened in, in Hilly's office? Uh, come again with that one? The, the scene where all of a sudden there's a pile of cash in Hilly's office. That never happened. That never okay. happened, dude. Okay. Okay. If there was a pile of cash, I'd pull a gun and fucking steal it, right? <laughs> that that never happened. All right. All right. This was the scene where they're they're announcing to the band that um they're getting you that Sire Records is interested. Yeah, yeah, sorry, dude. That's a true story. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, any other memories that stand out? There's a godzillion of them, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, the whole thing with this uh, Bader movie coming out. Yeah. Uh, I just remember my good friend, Steve Bader's, and God, I love them to death, and I miss them terribly. Uh, the thing is, is that, I don't, speaking about pile of, piles of money, somebody's making a pile of money off this. And I know it's not the guys that lived it. So that's why I want nothing to do with it. With with the new documentary. I'm, I'm not seeing any. Cheetah's not seeing any. Junior Zero's not seeing any. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Right? Gotcha. Hey, let's talk about uh, punk rock bowling. So. Oh, God, I get to beat the Stranglers. You get to meet the Stranglers, and I'm going to be right there next to you, man. I'm excited to see them and to see the Dead Boys and the Damned and the Darts and uh, who am I forgetting? The Specials and the Hives. There's and, just and, like and one just, massive. Wow. Oh, there's tons of that. Yeah, it's going to be ex very exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. Very much so. And, man, I, I'm as, a, as well as Rebellion Fest, that's going to be cool, too. So are you going overseas for that? Yeah, yeah, we're doing it really fast, yeah. Okay. Actually, we're doing it Friday night, and we're playing with the Stranglers, Stranglers that night. So that'll be a cool back-to-back -back Stranglers for us. No kidding. Yeah, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, this is just so fantastic. Aren't you glad that they're still they're still going? And, and, and you know, like you said, JJ, just a fantastic bassist. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very strange, too, because uh, when, I, when we talked earlier... And I talked about JJ, and uh, I, I said, you know, I said to him, I get to, I get to meet JJ for now. And then I thought to myself, oh my God, what if he's, he might be dead? And I don't think maybe they got somebody else. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like we're dropping like flies, dude. No, 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 no. Wet. I, I think I think the, I think you guys are all healthy, and I think the Stranglers have, have got some great years in front of them, and you guys too. And um, and and man, I'm thrilled about new material, new material from the Dead Boys. Please, I mean, you yeah, know, I, it, I am so excited. I really am. But please, next time, not and so many, coming, not so many decades between releases, please. Yeah, yeah, it has been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, this will be more like the first album, this one. Man, that's cool. Hey, um, I hope you had said we had come, <clears throat> we had come for your children is your favorite, and was was yes, that was that because of the drum sound or the production or or what was it? Uh, for me, it was uh, drum sound uh, production. Songwriting was very important. I mean, there was a. Uh, the, that first album, Cheetah and I sat in my parents' basement and just blasted out all those tunes. And But we had those tunes since we were like 15 years old. So it was like we sat on them forever. Mm -hmm. So when we got a chance to go into the studio and do uh, 
we had to come for your children. It was all fresh and new. And it was great. It was just kind of a new energy. Uh, it was like new stuff. Gotcha. So, okay. you know, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just loved it. Yeah. I loved I, it. I, to this day, it's my fave. You know, I, I, I have to agree with you. I, I really enjoy it very much as well. Did you ever get any grief for covering the Rolling Stones? No, not at all. Not at all. Matter of fact, everybody in that band right now wants to do Tell Me, and it's just like, oh, God, seriously, must I do that song again? So, yeah. But, uh, no, 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 came out great. Well, wh what do you mean? They I want think to, it's they, better than your version. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, are you saying they want to play it live? Is that what you mean? Or yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, man. I, but when we see you at Punk Rock Bowling, because we will be there, and man, what a festival. Um, you will have songs from both albums, of course, right? What's that now? I didn't yeah. catch that. When you play live at Punk Rock Bowling, there will be songs from both yeah. albums. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. We do some some sound. We do kill versions from this now. Yeah. 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 I love that too, man. Good stuff. Why the fucking kicks ass? Janie slash update me if there's um. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right. Johnny, um, man, it's just been an honor. Thank you for taking time or making time to be with us, and uh, it's it's an honor to talk to a dead boy. Anytime, buddy. Let's, Anytime. It is a pleasure in my end. And when you know what, can I reach out to you again and just stay in touch? And, and of course, when the new album is is um, is ready, uh, we will mention it here and push that out as well for you. That would be great, and uh, I'd love to do this again. Good. Let's do it again. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers, man. Johnny Blitz. Johnny Blitz. Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you. See you soon. See you soon. We will see him at Punk Rock Bowling. Yeah. Johnny Blitz, the legendary Dead Boys. It, it's just thrilling, man. And uh, their new singer sounds a lot like their original singer. Mm -hmm. gonna, you know, and, and if he's saying they've got new material, that that excites me. That is exciting. Now he mentioned the Stranglers. That's a that's a band that is, you know, mm -hmm. pushing along, and they're releasing new stuff every yeah. so often. Um, and we get to see both of them at Punk Rock Bowling. Yep. Now he mentioned the Stiv Baders documentary. And the reasons why he doesn't support it. And I totally understand, Johnny. I totally understand I that. I understand that, too. The filmmaker on that film is Danny Garcia. Mm -hmm. Okay? I, I, I guess I have to extend some respect. Because he made the Rise and Fall of the Clash documentary. And uh, Sad Vacation, which was about Sid and Nancy. Mm -hmm. And these are documentaries. And you haven't watched them? I haven't. Then you don't. I know. i got to catch up. And uh, these are documentaries, um, not, you know, these are not fictionalized tales. I mean, you know, he's, he's really trying to put together uh, the story as it happened. Right. So why don't we just, why don't we segue to Stiv and, 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 and then we're going to show you where you can see this film because it's actually screening later this month. Now, Stiv is, it, it's called Stiv, no, no compromise, no regrets. Mm -hmm. About Stiv Baders from the mm -hmm. from the Dead Boys, and let's go ahead and segue right now to that trailer. Okay. This is Stiv Bader. He was one of the funniest people in the world, and did such insane things. He would hang himself. He would crawl into the bass drum. He would. He was. Uh, he really had the reckless abandon of of a true front man. He used to car surf, you know, van surf. We're going about 70 miles an hour and Stiv gets out of the car, he's driving the car, and he gets out of the car and goes up on the roof and moons the Ramones. I thought at the time this is like the sickest thing I've seen. <laughs> so really, it's, what we're doing is really healthy. Punk is an attitude, and Dead Boys had it in spades. Stiv leaps off the stage and goes and grabs this one one of the people out of the wheelchair. So he manages to drag this guy up who couldn't walk onto the stage and start blessing him. And all of a sudden, the guy gets up and starts leaping around like that. On one hand, wow, look at there's my friend on MTV. Look at that. And then the other hand, that son of a bitch is on MTV. <laughs> At someone's house, he like he peed on the floor, but he put newspaper down first. His legs went up in the air, and then he just come f 
it's crashing through the windscreen. And then suddenly, Steve, what are you fucking doing? He honed in on his telephone voice, so what he used to do was he'd call restaurants and whatnot. You, you got gumbo, don't you? There's going to be no more Stibs. That that was it. He was he was a one-off and an absolutely joyous creature. Stephen J. Bader Jr., the most infuriating, impossible, frustrating little evil weasel I've ever come across. I miss him every day. <laughs> story of Stib Bader's. Right that's there. the whole thing right there? Well, no, 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 condensed version. There's uh, that's a, the lot trailer. Of, a lot of yucky details in there. Well, uh, good, fun details in there. Yeah. Now, see, it seems like people love him. Of course. It, you know, it was a tragic, tragic ending of his life. It was mm -hmm. just so sad. He died at age 40 in Paris, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, but, but it's all there in the documentary. So where can you see it? You can see it at the Texas Theater. Yes. In Dallas, right there is how you get tickets, the Texas Theater website. Mm -hmm. And it's showing, I think, just on that day only, Janie Slash, look, three weeks from today, it's uh, Sunday, March 24th. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So go check it out, Texas Theater. Great to support the Texas Theater. Great to talk to Johnny, huh? Yes. Man, I listen mm -hmm. to those, that album, those albums so much. I know. Hey, all right. Now, what else we got coming up? I think... We want to give a shout out to our good friends, Bullet Machine. Yes. They are our, can you read this? Is it? Band of the week. They are my post-it note, band of the week, Bullet Machine, who just released that Knuckle. post-it note's really bright. Knuckle Supper. <laughs> there they are. Look, at, at, uh, at Three Lakes. Didn't they have a uh, leak? boxing dinosaurs or they dancing did. dinosaurs? Were they dinosaurs or were they Godzilla? Godzilla's. I like it. Yeah, they were Godzilla. Because they're very, like, sci-fi. Because of, one yeah. of their songs is called Too Many Godzillas. And, oh. I, you know, I meant to you ask You can Rob, never have too many uh, Godzillas. I mean, they might destroy all the cities, but... I think he's meaning too many movies. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Too many Godzillas, but, yeah. If you go to a Bullet Machine show, you will likely see Godzillas. So, we have an event page that is a review of the album, or at least shows uh, the album cover. There it is. Yeah. And for fans of the Dwarves, this is some grind punk, Bullet Machine. I don't categorize them as metal anymore, Janie. This is this is some great grind punk like Who? the Dwarves. Bullet Machine? Bullet Machine. They're not metal. For fans of the Dwarves. Bullet Machine's not metal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. yeah. Anyways, Band of the Week. Now, what else is going on in Deep Ellum? It's the DE Deep Ellum Metal Fest. The Deep Ellum Metal Fest is coming up. Yeah, twenty third and twenty fourth. Yeah. Oh, no, twenty second and twenty fourth. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So it's. I a, won't be here. So it's like a Friday, Saturday, right? Yeah. So a two day Metal Fest, yes, and forty five bands. And look, who do we have? We have Silver Tongue Devil. We have yes. Onward We March. Yes. We have Trinitite. We have yes. Camacost. We have Kill Everything. Their new release on Comatose. Uh, Comatose music is called Scorched Earth. Also, I Am Destruction. Also, the Razorblade Dolls. Shout out to them and so many other bands. And, uh, and of course, Crop Dust, who is going to join us next week on this show. It's been a while since we've had um, Flesh Grinder. Flesh Grinder? Yeah, sure. Deep Ellen Metal Fest is uh, later this month as well. I will now, be in New Orleans. You'll be having fun at, uh, at various At the things. Southern Side Show Hoot Nanny. So if you're in New Orleans, we don't have Firefoot. Don't look it up. It's okay. All but right. All right. Fair uh, we'll have it next okay. week. But yeah, so we're inside Shahoot Nanny. So what Janie Slash does I'll is she there. she goes to New Orleans after Mardi Gras. I go every year. <laughs> so which is fine. Okay. But. Hey, last, no, two years ago I was there for St. Patrick's Day. And that was the slowest parade I've ever seen in my life, actually. But I had a lot of green beer and did Trivial Pursuit for shots. But. If you get the I answer right, you don't have to pay for the shot. I don't think I don't think I told you this, Janie Slash. There is a, a massacre slasher movie called. We, we actually have a flyer that Bullet shows. Bullet Machine it. is pop punk. Okay. It says it right here. No, no, no. Yes, it, it says it right here. They're right. full of lust and hungering for danger. That sounds like me. Janie Slash. My favorite band. All right. 
So we have we have a graphic for this movie. It's called uh, Mardi. Uh, look, 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 Ma uh, Mardi, Mardi Gras, Gras Massacre with it's, voluptuous okay, wait. women wait. and a wait. killer. Wait, is this an actual movie? Like, is this a new movie that's supposed to look like an old movie, or no, is this an old movie? This is an old movie. Okay, God. And I'm it tired is of all bad. These, like grindhousey looking movies, and you watch them, and you're like, this is the most poorly produced shit I've ever this seen. This is a low budget but bad movie. Low budget but bad movie. And uh, we're going to show you the trailer. I, I like her. I like her lingerie. It's <laughs> she's very... tied up, and she's wearing boots. She okay. doesn't look overly concerned by the guy holding like a razor. No. At her, she's like, "Oh, I'm ready." And her That's hair is she perfect. Looks like, and her hands are like tied up with what looks like gold. And look, American splatter movie. They have to say it's American. This made the UK uh, video nasties list. Okay, That's. The UK didn't know how to party then. All right, look, look. Here, here's the thing. It's Mardi Gras week. Happy Mardi Gras. It's Tuesday. So let's show you it's not the trailer Tuesday. to it's this. Sunday right now. Let's show you the trailer Tuesday. to Mardi Gras Massacre. Tuesday. New Orleans, Mardi Gras Massacre. Mardi Gras Massacre. And murder. The Mardi Gras Massacre. Homicide. Beautiful women are dying, and so are the New Orleans cops. As they battle a bloodthirsty madman, a masked monster, Mardi Gras Massacre. All right, all right, all right. So the, ki the killer is wearing a welder's mask, and he walks through the streets of New Orleans. And, of course, no one, you know, thinks anything because it's Mardi Gras. And he finds people to sacrifice to an Aztec god. And there you go. Mardi like, Gras Massacre. Like you do. You saw it here. Go check it out. <laughs> like you should do. Like you should do. It's that time. <laughs> you gotta go make sacrifices for the Aztec God. That's what we do during... Uh, Don't tell people uh, what uh, we do Mardi during Gras. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Hey, look. I'm probably gonna upset our engineer, but I want to jump real quick to the two cool shows we have coming up. I like how you're... Right like, around the corner. I'm gonna upset him anyway. So on March... Sorry. So next week is March 10th. Yes. And then the week after this is St. Patrick's Day. Yes. So many holidays this month. So many holidays. It's great stuff. So um, on March 10th, you mentioned, there it is. We have Flesh Grinder from Crop Dust. Yes. To talk about Deep Animal Metal Fest. Mm -hmm. And Nathan Harris, who mm -hmm. is making that movie called Baphomet. And we love satanic movies on the Corpse Paint Show. Yes, we do. So we own a lot of satanic movies at home. In this studio, both those dudes will be here too. Both to, those dudes. Both those dudes to share time with us. Metal and horror. But. And horror metal. Then on St. Patrick's Day. Then on St. Patrick's Day, we're going to ratchet it up and bring you some evil satanic metal from Ooh, Former Carriers. And Janie like Slash, it. did I tell you they're going to be here? In the studio. In this room. Yes, they're going to be here in studio. That's UK, right. UK Black Metal Band. We'll be live here. And I want to give a shout out to our friend Lex and Destro over at KNON, who helped share some of this information on her late night show on Saturday nights at, on KNON. So shout out and thank you to Lexin for helping us get the word out on that show. Hey, Jenny Slash. What? There's a couple of badass movies coming up that are not old, old ones like Mardi Gras Mask. Okay. One of them's called Now Look. Here, here's what it's here's what it's about. Okay, I'm waiting. The You're whole, taking too the, long. It's called the, the, the Hole in the Ground. It's from Ireland and Finland, and it's about backwoods people. Do you, and, are you reading something? And a sinkhole. Okay, now for the record, there's nothing more frightening to me than sinkholes. And finally, we have a sinkhole movie because they're just random. There's, it's just I'm pretty sure there's lots of movies about sinkholes. I don't think so. This is it. A hole in the ground, and we're going to watch the trailer. This is from Ireland and Finland. Backwoods people and a sinkhole. What could be better? There was an old woman who lived in the woods. You know, when I was your age, I moved town once too. Three. Two. One. Never run off. 
knock me like that again, okay? There with me loud knocks come a knocking on the door. There's something not right with me lately. I can't put my finger on it, but down by the I know. She didn't mean him any harm, you know. She was convinced. Of what? That he was an imposter. I know we sound crazy, but if it was yours, you would know. What's wrong with you, Mommy? I love you, Mommy. No, I don't know what that reminds me of, but I fucking love Holes in the Ground and Sinkhole movies. <laughs> of which there is only one. That one. I feel like there's other movies with giant sinkholes. <laughs> there may be. Uh, you, wait, have to, you have to I, do I, some I research on I, I can't remember the name of it, but I know there's so it's from Ireland and Finland, the and, and uh, I, don't, I don't know where the sinkhole went, but it was it did star in that trailer for a few seconds. Did, they, did the sinkhole like affect people? Did it make them go crazy and like kill things? Yes, I think that they got drawn into the sinkhole, and then uh, I don't know some ancient Aztec god was involved or something. Yes, that was so, you're confusing. I'm movies. confusing the movies. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> the ink on your Anyways. your card is like blurring. Hey, He's look, you know what we should do? Head. You know what we should do right now is pull up some information about punk rock bowling. Uh, we at least have a logo. So if you want to find out more about punk rock bowling, and do you really bowl there? I don't know. We'll yes, find out. you do. If you would like to be in our bowling league, if it's still open, and you would like to also pay our entry fees because we're poor. So we could form a bowling league. He's and really good at bowling. Okay, look I'm at really this. I'm really good at being distracting. Rancid. Descendant <laughs> specials. They, uh, the hives refused strength. All these bands. You can read it. Fucked up from Canada. Dead boys. Sloppy seconds. Bottle rocket and uh, or teenage bottle rocket and um lower class brats. They play in Dallas a lot. It's gonna be so good. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna be there. I yeah, want to form are. a bowling league then with uh, with Johnny. Maybe we can bowl with Johnny. Were you trying? You were trying to get Rob from Bullet Machine to join our bowling league. That we don't I hope have that happens too. Team. Yeah. I think Bullet Machine team. Bowling. Bullet Machine Bowling. It could be bowling machine. Bowling machine. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's uh, that's coming up later in the year. <clears throat> we were lucky enough to get tickets. Thank you, Janie Slash, for um, finding a way for us to go. You mean paying for the tickets? That's what Not I mean. What you mean by yeah, finding the I mean. way? Did we mention 14 records? We did. Yes, we did. Okay. Did we mention Corpse Factory? Well, we'll do that. Let's do that in a minute because I wanted to bring up the uh, the um, the Jewish Frankenstein movie. Are you talking about the Gollum? The Gollum, the Gollum 2018, 2019. Okay. This is the Jewish Frankenstein, and this is but supposed have to you be. Have watched the one that I have from the 30s? Yes. Maybe not. Yes, I and yes, I have. Sitting Look, on the shelf. it um this this movie leaves no bodies intact. This is supposed to be as creepy as fuck. New movie called The Gollum. And uh, it is the Jewish Frankenstein. The Jewish Frankenstein. She creates a monster. And then she realizes too late that this is one bad mofo. Anyways, here it is. The Gollum. You're a woman. A giver of life. God has assigned you a calling and you're refusing it.
Yankaba, creation of man. We could use the hidden code inside the Book of Creation and create ourselves a golem. And the man form in mud shall be engulfed in living fire. Let there be life. What have you done? I've created a golem. It is a heartless monster, and we must take it back from whence it came before it is too late. This boy saved me. He took on a handful of men with his bare hands. That is not a real boy. Golems connected to its creator. A golem can evolve. Merciful, ruthful Lord, we beseech thee. Save this alien child. Send the heavenly cure. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Besides prayer, there are other things which can be done. So just a little boy. There's no evil in him. Don't ever us don't ever us underestimate little boys yes like yes okay it's just a little boy there's no <clears throat> evil in him most of the movies with evil are about evil little boys evil children like the omen <clears throat> there the you prodigy. go so look that's the golem and i guess I mean, what she, cr she created the, it, it, so she created a, and the monster is a little boy at first i guess right well but that the, looks it's kind of weird because the golem is like a it's a um figurine made of like clay or mud i believe that is then brought to life. And it looked like a kid, not an actual... But maybe it looked too silly to have like a clay creature wandering around. By the way, thanks to Jeremy Wood for stating that there are movies about sinkholes called Sinkhole, Sinkhole 2, Hostile Ground, and The Hole in the Ground. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, I we, looked up Sinkhole Jeremy. Movie. A group of teenagers get trapped in a sinkhole and have to fight for their lives, starring Eric Roberts. Dang. <laughs> Eric Roberts. <sighs> Thank you, Jeremy. I, I I didn't know. Jeremy, we need you to come on the show. Probably because it's not. It's seriously two point eight out of ten stars on right. IMDb. It's not a very good movie. Okay. We're not going home and watching that. Sinkhole and Sinkhole Two. I mean, it must so, have been okay because they made a sequel. Yeah, but uh, does and that I mean? I can't that imagine a movie about a sequel. Sinkhole, Sinkhole sequel. Could could the sinkhole just be, be getting bigger? Easy to make. Sinkhole. What if it's. <laughs> Sinkhole. <laughs> Sinkhole. It got larger. It got bigger. It only yeah. got bigger. Uh, there, yeah. Okay. I thought I saw a porn once named. No, no. We what? better not go there. All We're right. Going so where? the point is Down that sinkhole? sinkhole is was an actual mainstream movie, I guess, with Eric Roberts. And it's a sci-fi movie. What was the name of the other ones? Sinkhole 2. And and uh, the evil, what was it called? Hostile Ground. Hostile Ground. And the hole in the ground. That's the one we just showed the trailer of. Okay, well, there you go. Okay. Hostile Ground. I'm just reading what it says in the message board. That's my job. <laughs> so, all They're right. just movies about sinkholes. Look, what could be more scary than a sinkhole? You'd never know when you could just drive into it. It could be amazing. There could be something incredible on the other side of that sinkhole. Or you could just die. It's probably lava. <laughs> Probably lava. It's um, probably not some really cool alternate <laughs> dimension where you'll end up like in uh, Army of Darkness. Ooh, yeah, they go down. And then you them. go into like medieval. No, it, that's not a sinkhole. Mm. We need to rewatch. How some about of this? These. No, no, no. Well, let's think of titles for a, 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 a you know the part two. It'd be like sinkhole deeper. No, I don't sinkhole think it's deeper. deepest. Sinkhole, <laughs> sinkhole miles down. Are you running out of material? Is that what's happening? No, no, now? look, this look, is, look. This is going nowhere. Just like Sinkhole, did you know that there is a part two of uh, 47 meters down? Yes. Yeah, it's called, it's called like 94 meters it's down. It's called 47 meters down. Or <laughs> no, it's, down. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's I like. I thought they got fucking un eaten. I think it's called uncaged or something like that. I thought so they got ate, eaten. I thought I, the I, fucking I, shark came <clears> and <throat> ate them. That was such a dumb movie. I can't believe I watched that. And I love sharks. 
So stay up on 47 meters down. There is a part two coming out this year. I thought it was already out. Is it not out? <laughs> no, it's not out. Look, we like to bring metalhead fans and I extreme punk it. fans information on cool shit. And this is Black Water. <clears throat> now, you know on this show, Janie Slash and Jason, right? You guys know this, that we support Liquid Death. We love Liquid Death. But we found, because that, that's where you murder your thirst. It's called 47 Meters Down Uncaged. Uncaged. Just like what you said, I believe. Or 47 Meters Down 2. <laughs> now, get this, get this, Jason. This is black water. It's like, this is BLK. Yeah, it's... It's water colored black that you can drink to refresh your thirst. It yes. is literally black. It's, it's black. literally black. It is black. It's a clear bottle. The, yeah. Yeah. Black. That is black water that you can drink. <laughs> so if you're black battle, do you drink black water or liquid death? Kind of have to, right? Yeah. Yeah. It says enjoy the dark side, but you can't see it because the bottle's black. And it's enjoy the dark side. That's what it says on the on the bottle. We do. We enjoy the dark side. And extreme punk from Johnny Blitz. Janie Slash. Yes. All right. So, okay. What else do I want to tell you? A couple of events coming up. Um, <clears throat> on March eighth, Rogue Angels. Yes, the burlesque show. Rogue Angels. And we have a little flyer for Rogue Angels. That's March 8th. You're performing there. I'm going to be there dressed as Satan. Because you are Satan. And look, there you are in the far right. All these great performers. That's in Arlington at the Arlington Music Hall. Yes. Now. Get your tickets now. At more info at arielburlesque.com. This causes us to segue into another burlesque show, which is Deadly Sins Burlesque. Burlesque and Sideshow, March 16th at Wits End. It's so we have that cool uh, flyer of the girls' panties. Yep. But it's, um, we yeah. know that you'll be partying yeah. probably at the Greenville Avenue Parade. But just come on, keep the party going. Come down and see a good burlesque show. Afterwards, you need to go to Deep Ellum yes. and stick your head in to Wits End. No, go fully into it. Fully in. And pay Fair $5, enough. please. <laughs> and come hang out with us. Because <laughs> you want to see that in? booty, yeah. that green panties booty right Good. there. Good, I'm glad that, that you, you fixed yeah. that because I was like, nobody has a green booty in our truth. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's March 16th. Only $5. Is it a late I mean, start green time? Green booties are cool. Is yeah, it <laughs> it's, well, no, it's going to be the same. Well, right. well, doors will be later. Doors are going to open at 9 and the show will start at about 10. So clarify that. Doors at 9. I did clarify that. Doors are at 9. So we'll start about 10. Still only $5. Still only $5. <laughs> Cheap drinks. Now, Jason, I also sent you a flyer or an event page from uh, De uh, Devil Master. Devil Master. This is an event on March 8th it, happening in Deep Ellum. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to this band because they're an extreme black metal band, American band. Yes. Uh, playing on March 8th in Deep Ellum. Ooh, and they're playing at the mm -hmm. Independent Bar and Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Right there on Main Street. Right there in Main. Devil Master. Shout out to some good satanic metal in Deep Ellum on March 8th. <clears throat> all right. So we talked about Stiv and the other documentaries, and did we cover all the event pages. Deep Ellum Metal Fest, we brought that up, right? Talk about Bullet Machine. <clears throat> now, Janie, there's yes. another... Badass movie. <clears throat> it is from Indonesia, I believe. Okay. Called Sunyi. Mm -hmm. You can't. I can't find hardly any information on this, but we have the trailer exclusively here on the Corpse Bank Show. Indonesian movie with subtitles. Sunyi. You scared the shit out of me. Selamat datang di tahun ajaran 2000. Hari ke-13 di SMA Neraka. Sekarang semua pusat. Dua. Hai. Gue Megi. Alex.
almarhum bokap gue itu paranormal gitu. Pantes waktu kelas olahraga gue suruh copot kalungnya nggak mau. Ada isinya kali itu kalung. Mana kalung lo? Coba lo lihat. Gue bakal buktiin kalau lo penyebab kematian temen temen gue. See, it comes out in April. That one is a brand new movie coming out next it's month. It's brand new. It said it was made in 2000. Like, it takes place in 2000? Or so, was it early 2000 yeah. story jumps to 2019? Did you drink your liquid death today? Because, you know, it, it's just fantastic for your body. Um, no, but I had brutality. <laughs> I got to reach out to them. Hey. Texas uh, Haunters like, Convention I was say, my is... favorite tea is a vulgar display of flowers. Well, it's from <laughs> Brutality. Please explain that. Brutality <laughs> sells actual tea. That's metal themed and horror themed. Ground tea. For YouTube. And if you yeah. watched uh, the episode where I was going over alternative Valentine's Day ideas, one of them was the Brutality's Valentine's Day gift box, which I actually bought for us. So yeah. that's where I got the of history of flower. Love it. All those teas are great. <laughs> Brutalities. Hey. Texas Haunters Convention is coming up in July. Now that's uh, in Mesquite, and yes. this is this promises to be. You were, were you looking for an answer? No, no. This that's promises to be a great that. fun time. Look, this is a first annual Texas Haunters Convention Halloween and Costume Expo. It's going to be fun. We're going to be there. The Ghost Babes are going to be there. I the heard. Ghost Babes are going to be there. Both. Both. Both Ghost, Both babes, ghost babes will be at the Texas Haunters Convention. Check yes. this out too. There's and, their uh, Facebook. And it's this Ghost Babe's birthday weekend, not time. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So Ghost Babe come birthday. See me. Bring me cake. Mm -hmm. no, I'm just kidding. Don't bring me cake. Now, Texas Haunters Convention <laughs> is partially produced, or maybe it's fully produced by Corpse Factory. Partially, I think. Yeah. By Corpse Factory. Oh. Our yeah. friends at Corpse Factory. Our friends at Corpse Factory, yes. Yes, indeed. And in fact, mm -hmm. you have a couple of their products to your right. I do. Some Living Dead Dolls. <clears throat> I like it. Corpse Factory has a badass website where you can look at all of their clothing and figurines and uh, living dead dolls, etc. They have some badass accessories. Lots of cool stuff on um, uh, just a whole bunch of horror-related items. And, and I believe the shipping is always free, and they're local in Dallas. You bought that. You got that purse there, and I got this purse from Corpse Factory. <clears throat> it's it sells out quickly on the Creepsville website, but I believe they still have some available. But show us the pentagram. Yeah, there we go. It's a goat head. It's a goat head purse. Ooh. And you wear a lot of clothing that you have acquired from Corpse Factory. I do. I'm not wearing any of it now, but I do wear it a lot. And they, <laughs> they have, also they have, have amazing of... jewelry and accessories. <clears throat> and this purse holds a lot, believe it or not. There, you can get a lot of shit in there. I have to like put my whole entire arm in there to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost babe at Texas Haunters Convention. It does not come with the sloth, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's the sin I'm trying to embrace. But more. what's that, what's that other um, living dead doll? The one sitting here. No, no, no. The the other. I the just farther. showed that one. You did. Okay. Yes, I All swapped right. them out. I gotcha. got this. Oh, okay. You I'm got a it. Professional. Look, watch. You are. Take off the glare. <laughs> <laughs> Caught with the mic in her mouth. That's Janie Slash. Janie. If you would like for me to display your products on air. A vulgar, would it be a vulgar display? Uh, I mean, if that's what they want, they also that, pay a little extra for that. That's what they want, and they yeah, maybe Give they'll pay what extra. they want. I'm just saying. <clears throat> we are in search of sponsors, and so if you're interested, email us. The email is on our website, which is um, uh, corpsepaint.net. Please reach out to us. We are seeking sponsors. Shout out to Liquid Death. We like those guys. I'm interested in BLK as well, followed by a big period. 
Blk. Or if and, you just would like to help us out and just give us a small donation, you can find that on we actually our, we have a our, our, Thank um, you. our website. I'll it costs a lot too. for us to rent this whole fancy studio. Yeah, we pay for this out of our own pocket. So. And so on our donate page, if you're feeling so inclined, we would greatly appreciate it. Keep underground not horror just, I was say, and not musical just sharing our page <clears throat> and sharing our shows and giving us likes on YouTube helps too. Hey, speaking of YouTube, we have a great channel. We archive every episode there. We've been yeah. going. We have been encouraging people to think for themselves since 2016. And all of those episodes, and I mean all, are on the um, YouTube channel. Yes, <clears throat> which is also Corpse Me Show. Hey, guess what's coming up? I know you know this. Texas Frightmare Weekend. It's in May every year. And May 3rd through 5th. I'm really excited. I purchased my photo op for Sam Raimi, Ted Raimi, and Bruce Campbell. And they're all together in the picture with you. you. If you're nice to me, I'll let you be in it. So let me get this straight. You get to walk into a room with those three dudes. Yeah. Sam Raimi, yeah. Bruce Campbell, those Ted Raimi. Those are finally coming true. They're like, they're like all standing there and you just walk in. And, and then they you... say, hey, smile, take a photo, and then you have to walk back out. But it's still going to be amazing. But it's still amazing. It's like that time I met the Pink Ranger. <laughs> do you remember that? You I told do. them that yeah. I had I had to go to the bathroom. We walked out there and tell them we need someone. They thought I was in the panel, so they let me pass that, security. I got to skip the long line. The, the the story she was explaining is they actually thought you were the Pink Ranger. This is why you should go to conventions dressed up like the Pink Ranger. Apparently, they thought I was because, in the Power Rangers yeah. panel. Yeah, <laughs> so they let me skip the line. Yeah, we're gonna we want to go to the panel room. You could have answered. Person escort. You could have answered all those questions about the Pink Ranger that come totally up on panel. Could. What, what kind of question would people ask the Pink Ranger? Like, do you really fly? I think it's because I looked really dedicated because I had pink hair and I was in the Pink Ranger costume. In episode number twelve, when you kicked that guy, <laughs> blah blah blah. All right, uh, Texas Frightmare Weekend, May, early May, and get your tickets now. That is a great event, and it's here in Dallas, and it's one of the, you know, it's really, what oh. do they call it? The Southwest's and biggest? For the record, the Pink Ranger was not at Texas Frightmare. That was a different convention that was not. Yeah. <laughs> nothing like Texas Frightmare Weekend. Texas Frightmare Weekend is amazing. It's fun. It's well organized. Can you believe Tim Curry? Always oh, see a bunch of great friendly faces. Yes, if you want to meet Tim Curry, you should buy a photo op. Oh. And then you have such a buyer. They have like so a Tim he's doing Curry okay. experience. So yeah, you should definitely look that up online and check that out. Yeah. The song you listen to now in the background is The 69 Eyes. They'll and you Dallas, know you know yeah. they're coming to Dallas and playing at Gas Monkey. I'm excited. We're going to go see them. What else do we got to cover, Janie Slash? So we talked to Johnny. We did all the events coming up. Covered some cool trailers. We get uh, you caught up Tuesday on everything. Tuesday is Fat Tuesday, as you all know. I will be at Duke's Ice House hosting bingo for free. So if you want to party and you want to celebrate, I'm sure they'll have great drink specials. I'll be there. But wait, you didn't, say, you didn't say the word burlesque. Burlesque bingo. Burlesque bingo. Sorry. Burlesque bingo Tuesday. No, but hold on. It's Mardi Gras burlesque bingo. You know what? You're wearing me out. Mardi Gras burlesque bingo. Look, let me show you something. It's burlesque bingo. It is. That's horrifying. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is not our baby. <laughs> Uh, this is the Mardi Gras baby. He lives in our garage. The Mardi Gras baby. He's ready to party every Mardi Gras. Please, please leave your babies at home. <clears throat> Unless they're in a king cake, then bring them. <clears throat> I mean, like the little plastic ones. That Look, sounded wrong. I am super excited about, uh, about Mardi Gras movies and Mardi Gras massacres and sinkhole movies now. I am. And well, hearing some new dead boys hopefully coming out soon. <laughs> Big shout out to our friends at 14 Records. Thank you. Go check them out. They're on Garland Road in Dallas, Texas. Janie Slash, Burlesque Bingo on Tuesday. Happy. Yeah, there, we, there they are. Yep, 14 Records. Now, they, they are, have a great selection of records. It's a small shop, but they've got a lot of good I stuff. I think Buck's told us he's open till like, like 2 or 3 a.m., man, on Friday, he, Saturday night. He kind of makes his own hours. So if you go, the, you go by there and they're not open, go by there again. You can go walk, you know, a couple doors down and go have a nice slice of pie or a nice slice of cheesecake and then try again. In other words, it's kind of in a strip center with, yeah, um, it's in a good uh, strip center. yeah, some good. awesome shit over there. It's a good time. If you're in Dallas, go also, explore. Also, uh, or you can go explore Curious <coughs> Garden, which is just a couple doors down and then head right back over to 14 Records. Now that's where we found all the coffins and the skeletons and dead people and stuff. There weren't any dead people. Well, it seemed that way. <laughs> 
There were, there were some, uh, there were some, like, like this, like this. There was some doll art that's hardly dead people. It looked real to me. It looked like that, but with no eyes. Yeah. Wait, you're pulling that vampire baby's hair. Yeah, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> it looks He's really, dancing to 69 What freaks eyes. me out is how happy that baby looks right now. Yeah, he's happy. And he is into goth music, this, this dude or girl, whatever. This baby is into goth. <laughs> Will ben, be. ben Harris said that he's in the chat room. Ben's in the chat room. He says he wants that Mighty Gaga baby and a king cake. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. Sorry. And a big ass king cake. I love a king cake. You could try. See how that works. <laughs> um, shout out to Chop Block TV. Thank you for uh, you know being part of us and uh, and 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 the family, the Corpse Paint Show family, and we support also Corpse Factory, 14 Records, Liquid Death. And Burlesque Bingo with Janie Slash every week. Every weekend is free at Dukes and Addison. Yeah, it is. Totally free. Did we cover everything, Janie Slash? Yes, we did. We hit all the bases? We hit all the bases. I'm very excited about Texas Haunters Convention, too, in Mesquite. I'm excited about that and Frightmare and Punk Rock Bowling. Yep. All and that. the Southern Side Show Hoot and Annie. You're going to be gone. Yeah, if later in, in March. Yeah, I'm going to be in New Orleans if anyone wants to hang out. Okay. Let me know. Hey, just real quick, um, tell me the name of your rat over there. That is. Uh, but we got to see him. Is that Ramon? He's Ramon. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he had another name. Yeah, Ramon. Do you have a rat named Dead Boy or Johnny Blitz? I don't, but I have a rat named Nightmare. Okay. <laughs> that's, that, that's good. Yeah. yeah that's you gave them all metal names. You didn't give them punk uh, names. Uh, this one's uh, name is Ramon. I can't <clears throat> Stay here. <laughs> On the Corpse Paint Show, I, I, we, we have, promise. We have, we have witchy rats, Phoebe and Piper. We will always bring you good updated news on underground horror, underground metal. Hey, and you notice the shirt I'm wearing, Born Home. They were on our show Just two weeks ago. Just a couple weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah, yes. right before the uh, Lords of Chaos game. They are a band from Hungary. They taught and they play extreme Rory metal. Colkin how to be metal. I like Lords of Chaos. It was gonna, you didn't even get to see the whole movie. I saw two-thirds of it. He no, but I ordered the DVD food. also, so I'm he hoping that we, we can see it at home soon, real too. Whenever real, real someone soon. asks him if he likes it, he's like, "Ask Janie what her thoughts are," because I'm the only one who got Good. that. Shit. He was DJing. He was being badass DJ Satan. I was just being Janie in the audience. Hey, hanging out. Oh, thank you, sleep. um, thank you to Jason, our engineer tonight, Jason, brother. <clears throat> And yes, also to uh, Ziggy, who is director of operations here at this entire building. D.O. Mr. Ziggy. And we appreciate both you guys. Yeah. Adios. Let's say goodbye. We'll Bye. come back next week. See hey, you, next you remember week. who we have next week? Nathan Harris and, and Flesh Grinder from Crop Desk in this room. This room? Like this one right here. Thank you, guys. Have a good week. Sunday we're here live. We're gonna give you 90 minutes of live, great, irreverent shit. <laughs> and also just talk about Satan and talk about movies and talk about metal and talk about Jenny Slash's uh, weekly dose of horror. Yeah. Texas Fright My Weekend. I am here with D Wallace. Don't just don't stare at my boobs all the time. Sure, I do get comments from occasionally religious fans. I have seen people yeah. stop and down. Wanna wag their finger at me for a ring tight. The Gold Spade Show rules!